Hi, this is Kathy Goodwin, and today's question is, has your career become an old shoe? We all have an old shoe in our lives, and this is one of mine. It's comfortable. It, we tell ourselves, oh, we're just going to wear it to walk the dog or when it's raining, but we find ourselves drawn to it because it is so comfortable. The downside is it's not really good for our feet. I mean, that, that doesn't have support. It's falling apart. The laces keep coming loose. It's really not safe or really good to wear that shoe. For you, it might not be a shoe. It might be a chair or a sofa. Same idea. In your career, there are three types of old shoes. First, the college student job you never outgrew. Someone I'll call Robert had a job as a waiter in a restaurant. He got that job when he dropped out of college at the time he was in his late early 20s I guess and it was a perfect job he was cheerful he really enjoyed it he did some bartending he hung around the restaurant business and now it's 20 years later and he hasn't outgrown that job he kind of likes it he kind of hates it he's doing other things on the side but you know being 40 and 50 doing what you did when you're 20 just doesn't feel the same people around him are a lot younger it's like why are you here and he goes to a party and so they say what do you do well, i do this and they say oh i did that for a summer in college and he's like oh okay well that's a sign it's time to think about maybe moving into a more grown-up job then there's the temporary job that became permanent this is an example of rose who is a cl real client she moved to a small town i think it was upstate new york to be with her family personal reasons she took a job as a teller in a bank which seemed perfect at the time it was interesting it paid well for the time she was just looking for something to hold things together she had been a, a corporate executive in a, a big company earlier so she stayed and then 10 or 15 years later she woke up and said you know this is a family-owned business it's small it's regional there's no place for me they've told me over and over i'm not going anywhere i'm stuck in this salary i'm stuck in this job and i'm not building anything up for my resume but when she called we were really challenged to look at her next steps she had been there a long time and we did work with her and she was able to do some things but it's it's something where you need a wake-up call early on that this isn't going anywhere it's something i took to be temporary maybe it's time to make the big move and do something permanent and then there's the day job that takes over the real job marvin not his real name had a business it was he wasn't really a very good business person to be honest and he knew it on with one part of his brain so he got a job part-time as an instructional designer and i'm again i'm in making up the details the, not the real one but it paid well and he was comfortable then the day job just took over he originally said well i'll use the money from that to put into my business to invest but what happened was he started saying you know i'm living off this money i'll just do a little bit with the business i'll make the business became the fun part the the margarita money the the money for extra treats and the day job just became his regular job which is fine except that first it, he didn't really like his day job it wasn't something that he was suited to it had no growth potential and the people who ran the day job could tell that he was not dedicated so they didn't give him upward mobility and one day he woke up and said you know this job is going away because they had changed things around and all of a sudden it wasn't a comfortable old shoe anymore so what do you do First, you have to do something really, really hard. It, I, I, I understand, I've been there myself more than once. It is very hard to recognize it's time to grow before you're hurting. Some, most of us wait till we're hurting before we take action. And I don't like to say too late because few things really are too late. But it's a question of the sooner you figure this out, the more time you have, the more leeway, the more choices. Rec secondly, Staying where you are may not be the safe option. In every case that I've mentioned, each of those people is vulnerable and may f be unable to move when they're ready to. Even if you have a job that seems safe, you've been there a long time, maybe you're in a union. I mean, let's say you take a government job and you've got benefits, it sounds really good, but it's not always safe because you can have layoffs, you can have cutbacks. You can wake up one day and say, I can't do this anymore. Especially in the situation if you're doing a college student type job, your back starts to change, your, your whole attitude changes, your body changes and you change you, you you wake up and say i can't do it anymore and then or your company says the job is gone it's changed it's no longer an old shoe 
So here's what I recommend. I recommend that you do something different every single day. This is the best way to jolt your brain cells. I know I'm not being scientific here, I'm being metaphorical, but that's what I encourage you to do. Walk to work a different way or drive to work a new way. Write something with a pencil instead of a computer or vice versa. Order something in a restaurant that you usually make at home or vice versa. Then start doing something bigger. Here in Philadelphia, where I live, the big thing is to take class. Everybody takes classes at some time or other. I've been taking ceramics, which is a challenge for me. It's totally changed the way I, I work with physical objects and use my hands. Uh, I also take improv classes, which is a great way to jolt yourself out of your comfort zone. Trust me, nobody stays in their comfort zone in improv, even if they've been doing it for 20 years. Something that will make you look at the world differently. Once that happens, it's sort of like the ice on a pond that has been frozen. Once you make that first crack, everything starts to loosen up. So that's what I recommend as your first step. Of course, if you work with me, we have other steps you can take. We can work more systematically at looking at your options and what you'd like to do. So the, just as a reminder, I'm Kathy Goodwin. And my, this is the website I have for careers, and I invite you to come visit. And thank you so much for joining me today.